Assalamu alaikum. Today I'd like to tell you about another workshop that I attended and it was called the vascular uh, vascular surgery skills and that was also in the National Congress of Medical Students and Youth in Bucharest, Romania. So uh, that was about vascular anastomosis. And the tools that we used were, of course, the suture strings, the needle, the forceps, the needle holder, a um, Mayo scissors and a heemstat or it's another kind of forceps in order to hold the suture straight as we are going to work. So these are the tools that we used. Then um, we had a vessel that was, of course, covered with a fatty tissue and you can't work on the vessel with the tissue over it like this because if you cut through this and then you begin to anastomose, the um, fatty tissue could get inside the vessel and when you finish it could be a cause of thrombosis or something inside the vessel. So it's safer to remove the fatty tissue first and then work on the vessel, clean vessel. So in order to do that we use the Mayo scissors and you insert the scissors carefully on the side of the tissue closed and this is a very important thing you insert them closed and when you begin to penetrate through the fatty tissue you begin to open them gradually so that you open the way for the scissor in order to proceed in this direction. And then, when you remove them, you can just pick them up with the forceps and remove them and then begin to work in different directions and so on. But, to make sure that you are in hold of the scissors and that you don't remove any collateral vessels and so on. So after you finish this procedure, you'll have a clean vessel. Uh, we cut through the metal of the vessel and we got to have something like this. So we uh, actually made three knots at the 12, 4 and 8 o'clock positions. like this here so you begin from outside inside from inside to outside and then you make the the knot with the long end and the short end the long end of the string will be held by the the hip stat in order to keep the tension of the knot and then you begin another knot and it goes all the way like this and from the long end of this knot for example just like this one you tie this with the end of the string that actually ends this suture and then you go to the reverse way or your assistant or your colleague would complete the other direction because it's easier for you to make the knot from upwards to downwards in your direction but it's harder to see from the posterior side so you should give it to your assistant or your colleague to do it from the other way or you can change your position. So 
that's what we basically did. And the result should look something like this. And it should be convex, on the contrary of the intestinal anastomosis, because if it's concave, then, if it's like this way, this can cause some kind of thrombosis. Thrombosis inside the vessel, it can block the blood flow. But if it's convex, it will not block the blood flow. And in brief, that's what we did. I hope it was clear for you. And until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.